In this video, we're going to model this, what I'm calling fancy table. And in the next video, we'll unwrap and texture it. You can download this reference image and follow along with me if you like. And let's get started. So I'm going to start by creating this tabletop. So I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to come to Curve Circle. Go into Edit Mode, Rotate X90 and scale it up. Just like that. With it still selected, I'm going to right click and choose Subdivide. And I'm going to change this to 2. Then I'm going to select every other point like that. And I'm going to press S to scale and pull it in until I get a nice pleasing shape similar to that. And I'm going to come over here to the curve dialog box under resolution. I'm going to switch this from 12 to 4. And then I'm going to right click and convert to mesh. Go into edit mode. And you can see that I've got all my points now. All right, I'm going to rotate X 90. And I'm going to take that, press G, and just move it over to here. And then I'm going to scale it again until it fits the top. Like that. Press E to extrude and pull down to here. S to scale and pull it out. Now it looks discolored because it's flipped, so I'm going to select all of it by pressing A, Alt N, recalculate outside. Shift Alt and click this edge now. I can go into wireframe. Press E to extrude and come straight down. come over here you can see that it's just flat underneath so I'm going to press E to extrude pull in a little bit like that F to make a face I'll go back into solid view shift alt and click this edge now we can just look at this part here uh, I'm going to E and S and come in a little ways it's at this point then I'm going to make that indent so I'll leave that edge there Press E and S, come in, and F to make a face like that. Select the whole thing one more time, Alt and recalculate outside. All right, so this is what we have. In edge selection, Shift Alt and click this edge, and give it a little a, a bevel, Control B, and give it a little bit of space, just with two, like that. Not too big, not too small, just like that. We're going to extrude down, but don't go too far down. E and just gesture down just a little bit. That might even be too far, but that's okay. Okay. Shift Alt and click this edge and this edge. We're going to bevel this. Control B, pull. I'll give it one extra. Or, yeah, total of three. Grab this edge. Hold on. Shift and Alt to this edge. Shift and Alt to this edge. Bevel this just with a little bit. Like that, and let's try Control 2 and Shade Smooth. And we have our tabletop. We're going to do this piece underneath. My 3D cursor is over there, so let's come over here, select it all, Shift S, cursor to select it. I'm going to bring in another curved circle. Go into Edit Mode, pull this down. I'll pull it down to there for now, scale it out. Until it pretty much matches the size. Now we may have to make it a little bit smaller, but we'll we'll give it a, a try from there. Okay, I'm going to pull it down to here. Select it all, right click, and subdivide by two. Now I'm going to select every other point. So there should be four of them, and I'm going to pull up a little ways like that okay I'm going to come back over here change the resolution to 4 again right click and convert to mesh I'll come in and I will extrude up like this scale Z 0 to flatten that pull it up I'm going to take it all and alt N recalculate outside I'm going to rotate in the Z until my curve 
more matches my diagram like that okay I think what I'll do is I will scale shift Z and pull it in just a little bit maybe off the diagram a bit but I just feel it's a little close to the edge okay I'm gonna press E and alt S and I'm gonna pull and give this some thickness like that it's discolored again so select it all alt N recalculate outside I'll go back into wireframe and I'm going to pull an edge down here actually it's a little hard to see in wireframe so I'm going to do that in solid view I'm going to pull down I want a sort of a lip structure three for face selection shift alt and click E and alt s and push and bring that out a little bit and now we're going to bevel that but just before I do I'll go into two edge selection shift alt and click and I will dissolve that edge shift alt and click all of these edges the inside one's not that important but I think we'll do it anyhow control B to bevel I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna give it quite a nice bevel in fact I might press C for clamping let's do that again control B roll my mouse up a few times so I get a nice one like that let's take it all merge by distance just in case control one or two shade smooth and we have this let's take that now we come in and we'll delete these top faces we don't need them three for face selection shift alt and click x faces that'll also help with the shading and we have this part of our of our table now you can do pretty much anything here i've done this before when i did uh, some of the furniture modeling i've done let's just go ahead and bring in a cylinder I'm going to use 16 vertices I'll, I'll put this on nothing scale it down and pull it down and I'll start with this piece here get the approximate size I'll go into wireframe and in edge selection I'll grab that I'll press 1 for vertex selection E and S pull in E pull down I'm going to scale in just a little bit we'll do our beveling in a while come up here and I'm going to pull up to here E S come in a little ways come up straight a little bit E and S come out E up to here up to here and scale up to here a little bit and then I think I'll just come straight out and we'll make the roundness in a minute. I need one more edge loop, so I'll just come in like that. I'm going to drop an edge loop there and press S to scale and pull it out. And then Control B to bevel and pull and have maybe three. I'm going to scale Shift Z, pull it out a little bit more. All right. Let's come back to here and just do it pretty much anything here uh, I've got an edge right there I'm gonna come out to here and I'll come out to here sort of to delineate the region but I'll keep going to there drop an edge loop there and scale it out control B to bevel scale shift Z a little bit more I'm up to here extrude up to there and then it gets hidden so what I'll do is I'll just come out to here drop an edge loop kind of in the middle of there come up to there so my edge loops right in the middle and then just continue up to the top see if I can find this edge here that one there I'll scale it out and I'll bevel and I'll scale shift that Okay, let's have a look at that. I'll just put Control-1 on and see how it looks. And we'll just add a few edge loops down here. I don't want it too sharp, and I don't want it too <laughs> unsharp. So uh, I think what I'll do is we'll close this up. I have to make a face and Control-B. And then we'll just keep going, adding edge loops where we feel we need them. And let's 
let's see. Put one there. Drop one there. I'm not really going to see that anymore. I think that's probably okay like that. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to press 3 to look from the side. And I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right to this edge and look from the front now again. It's pretty close to where we need it. I'm going to bring in a curved path and just sort of put, I think I'll put a point inside and that point there and then from here we'll start pulling down and roughly following this curve. I'm going to extrude out and I'm going to extrude out and then we're going to manipulate this just to create some kind of a pleasing, pleasing shape that is kind of in the middle of this. So if I had that, what I want to do is I want to come over to the curves under bevel. I'm going to choose profile. I'm going to bring this up and I want to create a custom profile. What I want to do is I want to pull this point up here and choose this handle type. I'm going to click here somewhere Pull that up, pull this down, pull this over to the edge, choose that, take this one, choose that, and I want to create basically a triangle going downwards so that I get this effect. I'm going to bring the depth, let's see, let's have a look at this on here. I can now come in here and adjust these points. I can make this uh, bigger. Pull these down. I'm going to take this point and press Alt S, scale it down quite small, and Alt S on this one, and Alt S on this one as well. Play with this profile a little bit till I get something that I like. All right, you get the general idea. Maybe grab both of these and Alt S just to make the top a little bit bigger. All right, that's what I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna scroll up, change the resolution to four, right click, convert to mesh. I'm gonna come in and I'm going to delete these two edges here, dissolve them. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna bring an edge loop up and down. That'll flatten this out, up and down. And then I'll try just control one and we'll see. That's not bad. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna shift alt and click there and shift S cursor to select it to bring my 3D cursor there. And I'm gonna bring in a circle and I'll go for just 16 vertices. And I may position it closer to the diagram, we'll extrude down, we'll fill that with a face and control B, give it a few segments, flip it, control one, and shade smooth, and I just want to look that this goes in, so I'll do something like this. So once you're happy with that, this has got a, got a control one on it, and so does this, so I'm going to join those together. And I'm going to come back here, select all of this, and Shift S, cursor selected. Take this, and uh, I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor. It makes it a little bit easier. I'll look from the top. I'll go into wireframe. In object mode, I'm going to Shift D, rotate 120 degrees, and Shift D, rotate 120 degrees, so that we have three legs on there. I want to actually get rid of that. Now, I want to select everything and 
recalculate outside and merge by distance. I didn't get rid of anything. And just double check that everything's facing right. Okay, that's good. All right, let's take this, select it all, and bring it to the center pretty much anyhow. Something like this. I'll put, I'll put that like that. Let's uh, shift C, bring the 3D cursor to the center as well. And uh, we have our table. All right, I will select it all, put it in a new collection. I'll call this table. And I just do this, uh, should that we can go shift A, collection instance table. We can pull out another one and we can, you know, rotate it in the X if we want, just, you know, just to create some kind of a scene here. We'll take another one and I'll just uh, rotate in the Z. Maybe we'll come back this way so you can see underneath a little bit. And we've got our tables there. Let's turn this stuff off. Okay, and that is the fancy table. And in the next video, we will uh, UV unwrap this and we will texture it probably in Substance Painter, but I might have a little look in Blender as well. So there's our table. Download the reference if you'd like to model this, and we'll see you in the next video.